Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at some trades and then some egg hatches of all kinds towards the end. Now, I was suggested by a few of you to do about three trades and on my fourth trade, actually pick the Pokemon we want to become lucky. So I gave it a shot. Okay, and let's check out the results and I was almost shocked. Okay, this could have almost been a thing if it would have happened three times. So this is right here, our third trade. And you might think, why did you guys want to pick a Slowbro and a Kingdra for your lucky? Eh, well, why not? We were just messing around to see if this would actually work. And um, let's check it out. So fourth trade right here, okay? Kingdra. That Kingdra was from 2016, I'm pretty sure. The Slowbro is fairly old as well. And look at that. Fourth trade turns out to be a lucky now, don't get too excited and think that this is actually a thing, um, but you're going to probably start freaking out once you see the next one after four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this out. Back onto it. So this is going to be trade one. Remember, just trade off junk for the first three, but at the same time, maybe something you might want because you never know if it might end up lucky in between those four. Now, this isn't something that actually is fact that can work. This is just an experiment, okay? So keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to think you're going to get it on your fourth one every try. All right, so this is number three for the second one here. Persian. Well, I wouldn't have mind that a lowland Persian, but I really want the normal, normal Persian as a lucky. So this is our fourth one. Let's go ahead and see what we have. The Ursa Ring was from 2017, that Hypno. 2016 and fourth trade yet again another lucky folks so at this point me and him were like what is it actually gonna work so to conclude the test it had to happen a third time now I mean two times in a row is something extraordinary right there as it is but you know three times I think would have sealed the deal now, if you're wondering, why did you want a Hypno? I wanted a Lucky Hypno for to remember the past. You know, Hypnos are technically pretty good, especially with Psyshock. If you drop them in a gym, they're fairly tanky. And uh, I don't know. It was a high chance. It was 2016, so I was like, okay, let's see what we have here. Um, all right, so we have the second trade here. All right. So this is going to be the third attempt to do this. Uh, this is the third trade. A little amount for a... Metapod. We were discussing what if Metapod's evolution actually took to Butterfree 400 candies. That would be pretty funny. Uh, it would make Butterfree a somewhat valuable Pokemon. All right, so we're on to the fourth one. We were like, okay, let's go for something good this time. Aerodactyls on both ends. Uh, obviously, mine's newer because it's from a raid. And the results are not this time, folks. Uh, okay, that's all right. And um, I was also told by you guys that it could possibly happen on the fifth one as well. So I was like, okay, let's do a Charizard and Breloom. Let's see. Let's see what we can do this time. And the results are negative. Okay, so on with Scarlet Witch. It is a new day. It's like around midnight. So we're going to um, do some trades. We were not, in fact, going to do the three and then fourth. We're just trading. Uh, so the experiment has been finished at this point. And now we're just doing random trades. All right, you're gonna you're gonna laugh at this, guys. What? Lucky pseudo wudo with low CP. Went went. All right, so the golden pseudo wudo isn't that something? All right. Now let's move on to the next one here. We have a Rapidash for a Voltorb. Seems like a legit trade to me. Take my uh, majestic fire horse for your, I don't know, killer explosion bomb. And uh, let's see what we have here. That Rapidash was from 2016. It was actually a, kind of a prize I've been holding on to for a while. I kind of wish I didn't trade it. Uh, then we're going to do this random junk. Um, <laughs> sorry. I can't stand those a little ratatats. And then wheezing for Yama. I want a lucky Yama. Consider we might have that whole Gen 4 event coming down uh, the line here. And plus... I just wanted a Lucky Yama, period. That blazing or that wheezing was from way back in the day, 2016. And look at that, folks. Lucky Yama. Yeah, Lucky Yamega coming soon. That is pretty amazing right there. So 
I'm happy about that one. And uh, apparently the wheezing that she received turned out to be very nice in, uh, as far as the IVs go. So uh, nice, nice. That's good. And then we're just trying another one here. A uh, funny thing about this Yama is it doesn't turn out to be lucky, but it does look at the IVs. Attack. I mean, it was like a 90 something. So level 35. That's the main thing here. Level 35 with max attack. I'm happy with that. Um, even though it's not lucky because, well, I don't need to invest that much Stardust. No big deal, right? All right. So this is going to be the last trade, folks. So I hope you enjoy that. Give it a shot. Trade three Pokemon. Make sure your fourth one is one inside is going to have at least 2016. And then it might just happen for you for the first few times. Keep in mind, like I said, this is just an experiment. Thanks to the subscribers leaving comments. I gave it a shot. And well, now I have a few more luckies. Thanks to you guys. All right, traders. So with that said, we're going to take a look at all kinds of egg hatches. I've been stacking these up for so long now, and I'm so happy to make this video because it was taking up so much space on my phone. <laughs> and now I can finally make this video and delete them. All right. And I had quite a few good Pokemon here, too, as well. So with that said, traders, thank you for watching. I'll be bringing you some more news as it comes in. And as far as the whole Gen 4 evolution event goes, do I still... Think that that's gonna happen uh, it feels so real um with the elemental stones the raids that we currently have um it, it's just all signs are pointing towards yes this event just might happen the whole event in japan doesn't start until the end of august which would give everybody time to enjoy this current event with these new evolutions but we'll just have to wait and see uh there is a lot of speculation which is perfectly fine because this does seem way too good to be true, right? I mean, come on. An evolution event with mass evolution items, um, double XP. Uh, I mean, it just seems really good. I mean, the double XP is nothing, right? I mean, whatever. I don't care about that. You know, it's nice. Uh, but what I'm concerned about is all these new Gen 4 uh, Pokemon that have um, evolutions that from Pokemon that came from Gen 1, 2, and 3. That just sounds so amazing. If they were to drop all of them, I don't know. That seems, I wouldn't say overkill, but for Niantic to drop such a variety of amazing Pokemon, I, I feel like it is too good to be true a little bit. Maybe they would do like 10. I don't know. But um, as far as Caesar and Steelix and Slowking being inside raids, uh, that's believable because, well, they actually added uh, Caesar as they gave it a catch rate. So... What does that even mean? Why would they need to give Caesar a catch rate unless he was going to be in a raid? I don't think they're going to make that spawn in the wild. That'd be weird. Uh, although that'd be, a, you know, pretty neat, I suppose. But I wouldn't like it. I'd rather just do a raid and you have to earn it however way you have to. Evolving it or catching it through the raids. So anyways, trainers, um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. If we do hear news about that from Niantic, it should be within, I don't know. When is this event supposed to even start? Like the first week of August. Uh, we have like a couple more days of this month. So either any time or they might just announce it like 24 hours before it actually happens. So uh, if you don't hear any news from Niantic within the next four days, don't say, oh, well, it's a fake event because they tend to like to drop news 24 hours, 48 hours, or even later before events start. So uh, keep that in mind. But anyways, trainers, thank you for watching, and I will be catching you all next time. Take care.